Hello from Gardening at Duenza, this time in the Azores Islands. Those are islands midway between Lisbon and New York. And today I'm taking you on a garden tour. We're going to see the amazing Terra Nostra garden. So welcome to the beautiful garden of Parque Terra Nostra on the island of San Miguel in the Azores. And we're entering the garden over that bridge you just saw, but we'll just stop for a moment and look at the sea of Colocasia that reaches up from the liver, river below. And over the other side, amazing water lilies. I've never seen those outdoors so big anywhere before. and some amazing Brugmansia in glorious flower. Now, with this video, what I'm going to do is just do a voiceover of my impressions of the garden, rather than dealing with the history of it extensively, and I hope you like that. So we're looking at an amazing water, which is brown, and the reason why it's brown is because of mineral salts, volcanic mineral salts that have come up, and this water is warm, warm to the touch and extremely good for the skin. So lots of people come along to the garden to bathe in the water. In fact, that's a hotel behind her. There's a hotel nearby in any case, and they have access to these waters as part of their stay. And I did enjoy it myself. It was absolutely super. So surprising to find that hot water, almost hot water, just out there in the open. So now we're going into the garden and if you're not blown away by the next few scenes then this really isn't the video for you because what we're looking at are the most amazing tree ferns in a forest-like setting with water and fish and all that kind of thing. Now the first thing I'll say about the tree ferns is I was surprised by the lack of Dixonia because Dixonia is definitely the most common tree fern where I come from although they're not terribly common because we can't get away with growing them outdoors of course and I think a lot of the tree ferns we're looking at, at are Siathia cooperi could be wrong of course but um, that's what I read in one of the museums I visited and I presume that's what we're looking at here. Look, just look at it. Could any place be more like paradise? And we're just going to luxuriate in the fronds of this particular tree fern for a moment. So amazing. And there was a bridge over there, and let's just get in and have a close-up of what's growing underneath the bridge. And now we can see that they're Colocasia or Alocasia style plants. So gorgeous textures and shades of green on green. It really was a fantastic area of the garden. But there's more to see, so let's go and explore this wonderful garden just a little bit further. So leaving behind the tree ferns for just a moment, we now have a decision to make. And this sign tells us what's available in the garden. Now the camellia collection isn't going to be in flower at the moment, but what's that? A bromeliad garden? I've never seen a bromeliad garden in my life. Let's go and explore it. Well, 
And there we go, a little path leading through the bromeliad garden, although the main displays er display areas were fenced off, but they did look super. Now, whereas you might think that a lot of this planting wasn't terribly imaginative, it's certainly the only bromeliad garden I've ever seen and I was really impressed by what they had on display there and the whole concept of it. And just giving you a pan across it there for a moment. There were some of them on trees which is cool, of course, because that's the way a lot of them grow. I see an air plant there. Now, these are bromeliads planted in hollowed out tree ferns that have died for whatever reason, and the trunk has been used as a planter for the bromeliads, which is, well, an excellent use of dead tree ferns, I think. And just getting some close-ups of some of the more magnificent specimens. Now this here is an indigenous Azores plant and basically it's a giant dock leaf and that kind of underlines my position regarding the indigenous Azores plants. I found them a lot less interesting than the invasive foreigners that they grow so well, like the gingers and the tree ferns, and yeah. Okay, now we're going to visit the Sikaz Valley, which is an amazing place full of a whole variety of different cicads from sago palm to others whose names I couldn't pronounce and I had great fun walking around the little uh, paths that read, led around the back of these beautiful trees and in among them. The black rock you see there encircling some of those plants is volcanic rock which of course the island is made of. And these are my friends, so busted. They didn't want to walk around the garden. <laughs> and now we're in the flower garden. And I think they just removed a whole load of bedding from that flower-like border there in the middle and we're about to replant it. So we kind of missed the bedding display. But there were lots of different flowers around the edge, many of which we grow as annuals in, the, well, in, in, in Ireland and they can just get away with them 24-7 here in the Azores. And we'll pause on the annuals here just for a moment to have a little look at the butterflies. And that yellow one really was ubiquitous, but I have no idea what its name is, so... We're looking now at a variety of amaranthus, but I'm not sure which one. And taking a look down among the palm trees and up through the palm trees. So I think it's time now to take a little jaunt through the palm tree forest. Hope you're ready to come with me and uh, we're going to enjoy ourselves a lot in here. I actually recorded a whole monologue as I walked through here, but um, yeah, <laughs> decided not to put it up in the end. Look at those amazing trunks, so straight, really mustn't suffer from wind here. And that was one thing about the Azores, I expected it to be very windy, especially at the coast, but was so surprised that São Miguel really isn't windy, even when you stand right there on the edge of the sea. Now this is a Cymbidium orchid. Not in flower, but they grow it in the ground, which is very interesting. And here we are again looking down at various tree fern forests in the garden. Now the garden was actually built on a terrace, so you started at the top and went down, 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 discovering different areas of the garden on each level. 
Okay, do you see that over there? It looks like a dinosaur. Well, I'm gonna take you with me. We're gonna have a look around there because it's absolutely amazing. And this is the topiary garden with strange birds. Look at this fella. These large flightless birds were definitely my favorite. Some pelican like birds. And you can see how they're made. They're actually stone statues covered in ivy, which eventually covers the whole structure so that it looks like it's made of well, organic matter. And this topiary was in the middle of this lake, so you couldn't touch it. There's a few more animals over here. Some, yeah, I guess that's some kind of hare. And this guy here, well, he looks more, more like a dinosaur than anything else, really. What I really love about topiary is the whole element of fun that it brings to a garden. And <laughs> take a look at that. <laughs> That's fun, all right. So let us continue down this walkway here. And at the very end, you can see that there's a stone monument. Very fancy thing. And lots and lots of tree ferns. Here we are looking down the level once again. For Fujium on the right, very, very giant for Fujium and a lovely little fountain. So I hope you're enjoying these shots of the water. Some of the ponds were brown as they contained a lot of minerals and some were clear. And you already saw me take a paddle in the brown one earlier on. It was hot, hot, but this water here wasn't. Okay, I think that kind of brings us to the end of our wonderful visit to Parque Terra Nostra, a fantastic, garden in the island of San Miguel in the Azores, which I thoroughly enjoyed visiting. The best garden I visited when I was in the Azores. And if you're ever there, you really can't go without visiting this fantastic garden. Thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe and check back for lots more videos from the Azores and other general plant and stuff stuff. Bye.